welcome to another video in which we will talk about a very important calculation of net promoter score. So first of all, why do companies require to know the net promoter score? They want to know that how many people are promoting their product or how many people are not promoting their product. So net promoter score can also be calculated to know your delighted customers. Delighted customers are your customers who are going to recommend your product to other people, for example, family and friends. So if we look at the definition, the net promoter score is an index ranging from minus 100 to 100 that measures the willingness of customers to recommend a company's product or service to other people. So let's suppose if we're using some kind of cell phone, some brand cell phone, how likely are we willing to recommend it to other people? For example, to our family or to our friends. So how do we collect data or how do companies collect data for net promoter score? It is very simple that you just ask a question from your customers on a scale of 0 to 10. 0 means the lowest and 10 means the highest. How likely are you to recommend us to a friend or a colleague? And if you are very likely to recommend it to your colleagues or your friends, you will take 10. The same way, if you are not at all likely to recommend this product or uh, a service to your friends and family, you will uh, give this answer as a 0. So let's just first understand what do we mean by 0 and the tens. So let's now understand how do we take the responses into our calculation in order to calculate the net promoter score. So this area is the most important to understand. Now, obviously you're giving your customers option from 0 to 10. They have to take only one number. So some of them will be supposed taking 3. Maybe somebody is giving you answer as 8. Somebody is giving you answer of 10. So all the people who have answered from 0 to 6 can be known as detractors, which means they are not going to recommend your product to any family or friend. Everybody who answered 6 or 8 will be known as the passives. Now, they will not refer your product to anyone and at the same time, they will not be detracting uh, the customers from your product, which means that they are neither uh, recommending your product nor they are not recommending your product. But everybody who has answered in 9 or 10 option, they are your promoters. Ideally, for all organizations, all the customers should be promoter and these are the people who are also known as your delighted customers. They are so delighted with your product or service that they also recommend it to other people. Now, how do we calculate the net promoter score? It's very simple that you take the percentage of the promoters and then you take the percentage of your detractors. So what you do is you uh, minus the percentage of detractors from the percentage of the promoters and you will get the net promoter score. Now let's look at this calculation. Let's suppose we have collected data from 500 people and this is our total number of respondents. 9 or 10 was answered by 300 people. And then you also have to see how many detractors were there. So let's suppose 150 people answered from 1 to 6. So 150 out of 500 are our detractors. 300 out of 500 are our uh, promoters. But 50 customers also said 7 or 8, which means they were the passive customers. So the first thing that you need to calculate is you need to have this figure of how, from how many people you've collected data and then how many people answered 9 or 10. These will be promoters. How many people answered 
from 1 to 6 they will be your detractors and then 7 and 8 people will be your passives. Now make one thing very clear that in calculation we are making promoters part of our calculation, we are making detractors part of our calculation but we are not making these passives into our calculation part. So what is the formula that we are going to use? The formula is simple that percentage of the promoter minus the percentage of the detractors will be equal to net promoter score of a company or of a brand or of a product. So if we look at this data, we have 300 promoters and the total data was 500. So 300 divided by 500 multiply by 100 is going to give us the percentage of the promoters. So let's say the percentage of the promoter in this case is 60%. On the other hand, 150 were our detractors. So 150 divided by 500 multiplied by 100 is equal to 30%. So if you uh, do this calculation, which means 60% minus 30%, the result is positive 30%. So this means that most of your uh, customers will be recommending your product or your service to the other people. Now why do we call it net promoter score? We call it net promoter score because we are not taking all the promoters. We are actually doing the calculations and net promoters are the promoters who are minus the detractors. So this is how you actually calculate the net promoter score. Now how do we interpret it? The interpretation is simple. If the net promoter score is coming in positive, this means that the company is doing good. If it is coming in negative, this means the company is not doing good. Or the customers are not likely to recommend your product if your net promoter score is in negative. But are likely to recommend your product if your net promoter score is in positive. Ideally, all organizations should have a score of 100%. With this means that each of the customer is going to recommend the product to other people. But it can also be minus 100, which means that all of them are detracting your potential customers. If somebody is asking them about your product, they are not going to refer it. In fact, they are going to detract them. But if you have this plus 100 score, this is going to be an excellent way of making a growth or uh, increasing your businesses. So these are also known as the delighted customers. So every company's dream is to promote and to become at a level where 100% of their customers are their delighted customers. So this is all about this video. Thank you very much.